Hey guys, tonight we're making a delicious bowl of chili beans. Chili beans, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. We do farming videos, cooking videos, ministry videos, just life videos, grocery hauls, all of it. And give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and tell me how you enjoyed it. So tonight we're making chili beans, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so we are going to make chili today, but first um, I wanted to talk to you. I know I've been missing in action. So if by chance you were here just for the recipe, be sure to look down in the description below and I'll give the timestamp to where that video starts. Um, I've just been gone a while, so I want to chit chat a little bit. <laughs> And um, so if you're here just for the recipe, I will timestamp it down in the description. That way you can fast forward it to that part. But yeah, <clears throat> we're making chili today. And so right now I had made spaghetti over the weekend. So I'm washing out my pot and my hands are stained. <laughs> spaghetti sauce stained my hands. But um, yeah, I've been, I've been away for a few days. Not away from here, but... Um, away from the videos um we had a really busy week in ministry we had two funerals one of which was in the mountains and um we had we got chickens back and we've also had another death and that funeral's coming up this week so um it's just been a busy busy week of ministry so um and before we start the chili, I've got to run to town and go somewhere that I've never been. A place I think I need to go, but a place I'm scared to go. And that place is <clears throat> a chiropractor. I have never been to a chiropractor. I've had massages, love them. In fact, had one the other day. If you're in the Asheboro area, go see Amber Cox. No, I'm not sure if Cox is her last name. Her first name's Amber at Premier. Oh, I'll have to look back and make sure. I don't want to give you the wrong name. So, um, I'm getting... There we go. Um, about three weeks ago, I was making the bed... And I was on one side of the bed, and I felt a little twinge in my hip. And I thought, well, that's odd. It was just a, little, just a little pain. It wasn't unbearable or anything. So I went over to the other side of the bed, bent down and picked up the throw pillow. Not the throw, the, the sham pillow, the, the decorative pillow. And when I stood up, I couldn't move. I mean, I screamed. I didn't have my phone with me, but thank goodness it happened on the side of the bed where the house phone was. And um, so I called Brian and I said, you're gonna have to come help me. I can't move. I, I was holding my hands up like this. And if I let go and put weight on my legs, I thought I was gonna die and pass out. And I mean, I cried real tears. Y'all, when my artery dissected, it was the most pain ever and I didn't cry but I cried with my back and um that was three weeks ago well it's become better I can I mean it's not like I can't move type pain but there is a constant pain in my hip I can't lift my leg up sometimes Bryant has to help me put pants on that one leg or socks on that one leg I can't sit for periods of time if I ride in my car Oh my word. And um, so anyway, it was terrible, terrible. So I thought about going to the doctor, but I don't want them to throw pain medicine at it or surgery at it unless I have to have it. 
but I'm scared to death to go to this chiropractor. <laughs> so y'all, that's where I'm fixing to go. As soon as I get this pot washed, I'm fixing to go find my insurance card and head to the chiropractor. I'm just hoping she can help me. Um, morning times when I get up out of the bed oh, are terrible and evenings are terrible usually and that's usually because I'm sitting down for the evening. As long as I'm up going, I'm good. Um, but, but then I think it makes it worse the next day. Um, like Saturday, Friday, I cleaned the house. Saturday, I was pretty much in bed all day. Um, I can sleep with it. It doesn't affect my sleep. I can get in a, once I get my legs in a comfortable position and I get it eased off. Yep. I sleep all night. Doesn't affect my sleep at all. And uh, But then when I get up over the morning. <laughs> so Saturday, after I cleaned the house on Friday, Saturday was a terrible day. I could not move. Had another crying fit. <laughs> you didn't know us ladies could be such babies. I can be. But, um... Yeah, this is something I've never had before. I've never had back issues. I've had muscle spasms in my upper back, but this um this is all new. So yeah, we're gonna see what this chiropractor says. Like right now, I'm fine. Like I mean, I know it's there, and if I were to lift my leg, I could feel it. But like right now, it's not bothering me at all. It really only bothers me when I get up of a morning. And when I'm sitting for long periods, and, and, and that's usually of an evening. So, um, and then and then certain activities like lifting my leg, if I was to have to put a pair of sho shoes on or socks on or um, sometimes like getting, lifting my leg to get in the car, that's another issue. Like on the passenger side, because I lift that leg first. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not killing me so I mean I'm not gonna die from it <laughs> just might be in pain all the time so anyway that's where I'm going so y'all stay tuned I'll be right back from it and I'll let you know what happened okay guys I'm back so the first visit was nothing for me to fear it was just x-rays she just kind of looked at how I stood my posture and see if she could identify any areas that was wrong and she pointed them out right off the bat and so anyway I go back Thursday and um, so today's Monday we've got Tuesday Wednesday so and then I go back on Thursday now Thursday will be the day that I'm like ah so <laughs> pray for me on Thursday but anyway in the meantime let's start making this chili I'm gonna show you all that you're gonna need and we're gonna get started needs to cook and simmer, you know, for a few hours just so the flavors get all meld together. And um, so let's get it started. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn you down here so you can see the ingredients you're going to need. And we're going to go over them real quick. You're going to need two pounds of hamburger. And you can adjust this recipe to whatever size you need. You can make it larger or you can make it smaller. But two pounds of hamburger. This is from our cow. So good fresh hamburger. You're going to need two celery sticks chopped. You're going to need two bell peppers chopped. One medium to large onion chopped. You're going to need a, some minced garlic. Um, now we're going to start with one pack of chili seasoning, but I bought an off brand and sometimes they're not quite as strong, so I have two. We'll start with one, and then we'll check and see if we need the second. Okay, you're gonna need a can of crushed tomatoes. You're gonna need a can of like the Rotel. This happens to be an off brand of tomatoes and chilies, but um, Rotel is the name brand. Um, I, I work with off brand a lot. <laughs> You're going to need some kind of seasoned beans, like ranch-style beans or chili beans or some kind of, uh, that has a little seasoning in it. You don't have to use that because you can just add more seasoning, but that helps. 
and I have a can of kidney beans and two cans of tomato sauce and last but not least salt and pepper so let me tell you this chili recipe is something you can add to once you get it going and you think oh it needs more beans open a can of pinto beans and put a can of pinto beans in there oh it needs more kidney beans we'll get another can of kidney beans so this is like it's like a, or it's like a canvas that you can just paint on it whatever you want to so we're gonna get started I have my big heavy pot right here and good heavy bottom pot <laughs> and we are going to start in here I'm gonna start by grounding the beef and I'm gonna brown it right in this pot because I don't want to mess up a frying pan so I'm gonna start it right here I'm going to get those going. I'm going to chop all the vegetables. I'll bring you back as we put everything together. Okay, guys, we're ready to get going. I have already browned my two pounds of hamburger and drained it. I have chopped my vegetables over here, and I've been opening my cans. I'm going to open the last one. And while it's opening, we're going to come over here. I'm going to bring you guys over here with me to the... Hey, everybody. <laughs> I've been out working hard. She's been here cooking for you guys. That's right. And for him. And for me. <laughs> okay, we're going over here. And we're going to put these vegetables in this hamburger. Brian, give me a scraper over there. Besides the microwave. No. There you go. Alright. Here goes my onion. Celery, green pepper, whoops, and garlic. And I think I only lost a little garlic and a green pepper. All right, so we're going to let this heat up and cook down just a little bit, not much, and then we'll start adding the other stuff. Okay guys, so I've mixed this all up. I don't think I gave you the measurement of my garlic. I used two, uh, I used one heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. So we're going to go in with everything else. I'm going in with a 20 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. This is just going to cook all day long. Or the rest of the day, what's left of it. And I'm not draining anything. This is our chili beans going in. Mm. Our rotel, well, our tomatoes and chilies. <laughs> our two cans of tomato sauce. I don't guess I opened this one. I still have my kidney beans to go. I gotta open that pack. I'll dump it in and I'll bring you back. Okay, the kidney beans going in. All right. So we're gonna give this a stir. guys I'm going in with one pack of my chili seasoning um, you can do your own of course chili powder and I may add just some chili powder but we're gonna start with one of these let it cook for a little while and then taste it and see if I need to add another pack or maybe just add some chili powder but we're going in with one pack of chili seasoning and we get the original we don't get hot or anything some of us like spicier things than others. Bright's not a spicy fan. I like things a little spicier. Isaac likes spicy things, but he gets heartburn real bad. 
And I'm not sure where Caroline falls on the, and Jamie falls on the spice regimen. But okay, I'm going to turn this down to where it's just simmering. I'm going to put a lid on it and just let it cook and simmer down. And simmer, simmer down! <laughs> it's going to simmer down. So, that's what we're going to do now. I'll bring you back when we give it a taste test and see what it needs. Okay, guys, while the chili's in there cooking, I want to show you my Valentine's tree. It's so cute. Okay, guys, there it is. Look, I even made the bow. Isn't it adorable? Okay, guys, the chili is ready. Now, I asked my family what they wanted to eat with it. Did they want cornbread? Because sometimes we do cornbread, sometimes we do crackers, sometimes we do tortilla chips. You know, so th today they chose tortilla chips and Fritos and crackers. No cornbread today. So, I'm going to call Brian in here. We're going to get let him give the chili a taste, and then I'm going to show you how I fix my chili in my bowl. Okay, guys, so Bryant has come in from hey, working on the Friday. farm. Excuse my dirty shirt. I've been working hard today. And it's cold outside. It's so cold. this is going to be amazing. Let me give you look a right good there. look at that chili. If you had smell of vision look at that. Rich. Mm. Beautiful. All right, we're going to let you give it a taste. Right. And I'm going to then show them how I fix mine. Okay. I'm just going to put one little scoop in yours just for you to taste it why for do I, Why do I just get a little scoop? Because you're going to fill it up when we go in there. She's shortchanging me. All right. I see some dark red kidney beans. Look like some light red. Yes, I did end up adding another can of kidney beans just oh. to kind of thicken it up a little bit. Yep. Light red kidney beans, peppers, onions, hamburger, and chili chili powder not not the chili pack chili pack yeah oh and i also added one about one tablespoon of the second packet i bought off brand and sometimes off brands are a little bit more milder than the others so buy two packs start with one and then taste and see if you need the second one season it to flavor this is phenomenal we're gonna put a little sour cream in here and a little shredded sharp cheddar cheese mm -hmm. or mild i got both for a cold evening meal, this is an easy, quick, gotta fix right here. Give it a, I give it an 11. Gives it 11 out of 10. Woohoo! Mm. Really All right. Good. Very hearty, very wholesome. Guys, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix my bowl. I fixed mine a little bit different. I don't know if any of you were used to going to Sonic. Do y'all know what a Sonic is? I do Only gave him one little bee scoop. Um, if you want to kick it up a notch, a little bit of cayenne pepper if you want to kick it up, but... Or red pepper flakes. But it's perfect for me because I'm not too spicy. Yeah. You're not spicy. I, I am, am spicy. I am spicy. <laughs> okay. Y'all better All right. be paid. Move my spoon because I'm going to use it to dip the sour cream. All right. Have you ever been to Sonic? Have Inky you heard bro. of Sonic? I do know. Give you a nice shot of what we're doing here. I'm going to start with just a few... Corn chips, Fritos. Mm -hmm. One more? Yep, that's good to start with. Yep. And if you'll hand me my spoon, and I'll take the other one. This one? Yep. <laughs> We're reaching around each other. Aren't y'all glad to know I'm spicy? She's spicy. All right. Dollar of sour cream. Actually, two dollars. I want two dollars. And here we go. The food kitty, the food line. <laughs> food line. Shop Shop cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. Hey, Look, buddy, bro. Somebody wanted to join the video. Y'all see that? Little cheese. One more thing. Get the extra bigger. Bryant and I are the only ones that will use Get these. The so, I love them. Oh, you put more chili on yeah. there for me. If you didn't hear Judah, he brought us an excavator. Excavator. Mm hmm. Right, All right. Let me try yours. I'm going to try mine. Now, the good thing, the thing about the Fritos, it gives it a little contrast of crunch and crunch. texture. Anyway, Sonic had a, what they called a chili pie. And 
They would put but, Fritos. But didn't have beans in it. No, I don't think it did have beans. Just chili. Maybe just chili. Chili and Fritos and cheese. That's really good right there, too. The Fritos, just extra kick. So good. Yep. Mm. So good. And here's his trucks. Oh, there's your excavator. Oh, you found your potty toys. Come here, Judy. These were his potty surprises, but I guess he'll get them anyway. Um, do I? Do I? Do I have potty surprises? <laughs> no, you don't have potty surprises. <laughs> I can have pick up my clothes surprises. Yes. Hey. If you pick up your clothes, I'll give you a toy truck. There you go. That one. He'll want a real truck. I do. Oh. But we are going to go love on this chili for a little bit. And then tomorrow, if I have any leftovers, I've got some French fries in the freezer. We may have chili cheese fries tomorrow for lunch. I'm not sure. It'll be fattening but good. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great night. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Please subscribe, hit the bell notification, give me a thumbs up, and share my video. And leave me a comment. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks, guys. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.